Okay, I have finished doing all my rows for my outside cover. Wow, the birds are really loud today. Sorry about that. And you can see it's about eight and a half inches wide, maybe a little, maybe a fourth of an inch, a little higher, or an eighth of an inch. That's okay. So this is going to be our outside cover. We want to turn around, um, check it out, and see which side looks nicer. Um, they're all, they both look pretty good to me. So we'll just put it down like this. Now, to sew the two pieces together, we're going to sew our inside pocket. This side seems to look a little bit nicer. In order to kind of stabilize everything, I will put my two corners together and I just put um, a safety pin on the corners just to make sure it's not going to shift on too much for me. Just move it out. These um, tails we will sew in when we finish and I, if you don't know, I'll do a couple of them just to show you. I think I'm going to put one more in the middle because it is kind of a long one here. Like this. And oops. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is Take a tapestry or a yarn needle, and you can do it um, whatever color you want. Remember, this is um, the inside. We're going to fold it in. This will be your pouch, and this is all multicolored. It also looks really nice in a rainbow um, setting. If you put too many pockets, it does tend to get a little bit kind of fat on one side. It shouldn't matter too much. So I'm going to take. Um, a nice piece of yarn. You don't want to make it so too long where it starts tangling. Um, and I'm just going to do, I like to start usually on the bottom. And I like to go to that first line where my first chain is. It just seems to give me a nice um, step. You can also, if you want a more narrow seam, let me give you a close-up here of what I'm doing. If you want a more narrow seam, you could just go under here, your first crochet step, um, which is okay. I like to do it uh, on the little second mark there. I'm going to go in through there. Remember, this is the outside. You can start with either side. Um, maybe I'll show it this way so I can show you what I'm doing here. I'm going to start with my first step here. It's put together so I know that it's going to be okay. I'm going to go around. I'm going to leave this little piece in here, which I can then sew in later on or tie it on. And I am going to bring in my string through here because I want to make that little edge kind of pop up. Now I'm going to bring in my next seam. There is no exact measurement. And this is the stitch that I'm going to use across. You can use whatever stitch you want. And then I can also show you. I'll do a few of these so you can kind of get the idea. Put it in there, catch your thread up here. It's kind of like the stitch that you use on um, felting um, patterns or felting projects. Kind of nice. It just gives you that little edge there. If you don't like that look, then you could just do a um, regular stitch. I kind of like it. Um, just because I wanted to give it that hand sewn look. Yeah. If you don't want it to look that way, you could change your stitch into the matching colors. On this, it's not really going to matter because it's all different colors. This is a stitch I'm going to use to 
do it together. Like I said, if you want, you could just do, you know, um, running stitch. Um, that single crochet kind of gives you um, a natural stitch width. You don't want to do it less than every um, chain. See how it's taking in one chain at a time, kind of coming. If you do it a lot bigger, like say here, your items um, will fall out. could even do it closer if you want and I'm going to do this all the way around even on the edge without a pocket because we don't want it to just end there I want it to look finished all the way around I don't want it just to end there it would look kind of strange and then here in the corners um, if you want you could um, you know, reinforce it I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this and when this is all done, I'm going to weave in my ribbon, which is an optional step. Okay, I have finished my seam all the way around. So that's all together. Here's my big pocket. And now I'm going to do my stitches for to separate the places that I stick my hooks in. So I would just put it there and just try to guess um, how much space you're going to need. So usually we need to skip about maybe half three on the two in the middle so we would stitch on one, skip two of those and then we're going to have at least two spaces depending on how many you want in this size. And so if my needle here so on the edge I'm going to Skip. Here's my stitch at the end. So I'm going to do one, two chains, and then on the third chain, I'm going to bring in my needle from underneath and go back around there. Then this, you can make a little knot or whatever you need to do that in the back section because it won't matter. This I'm just going to do an old fashioned running stitch. So I'm studying here and I am trying to catch leave this, these two free and then catch this one. You don't have to worry too much because in the front, just make sure you go all the way through. And then I go to that section. See, so from here to here. And now I want to make sure I went all the way through, which I did. And then here, do the same thing, catch it there. On that third one, and the B doesn't show too much there, but you can see where it caught there. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, you want to try to do it as straight as possible. Because if you want, you can go, um, embellish the outside with ribbons, um, which is what I'm going to do. And this is creating the separation where our hooks will go. See? So you'll be there. You need hook one. And then your next hook, you're going to skip those two, and you're going to stitch on this third um, row double crochet. 